Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shrivanala. Today's topic is megaloblastic anemia. Megaloblastic anemia is a disorder caused due to impaired DNA synthesis. It is characterized by distinctively abnormal hemopoietic precursors in the bone marrow in which the maturation of the nucleus is delayed relative to that of the cytoplasm. Etiology Vitamin B12 deficiency Pernicious anemia True vegetarians Breastfed infants Post gastrectomy, small intestinal lesions involving distal ileum. Folate deficiency, poor dietary intake, malabsorption, excess folate utilization as in pregnancy and various diseases, alcoholism, excess urinary folate loss. Other causes, topical sprue, drugs interfering with DNA synthesis, acquired defects of hemopoietic stem cells, congenital enzyme deficiencies clinical features anemia insidious onset and gradually progressive macrocytic megaloblastic anemia glossitis smooth beefy red tongue neurological manifestations subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord peripheral neuropathy numbness weakness ataxia poor finger coordination and diminished reflexes. Others, mild jaundice, angular stomatitis, purpura, melanin pigmentation, symptoms of malabsorption, weight loss and anorexia. Laboratory Diagnosis Laboratory diagnosis of the megaloblastic anemia can be discussed under two headings. General, general laboratory investigations of anemia, special tests to establish the deficient nutrient either vitamin B12 or folic acid. Laboratory findings. Red cell morphology. Macrocytic red cell is seen in megaloblastic anemia and MCV is increased. Uh, MCH increased, MCHC is normal or decreased, marrow atheropoiesis is megaloblastic, marrow iron stores is also increased in megaloblastic anemia. General, general laboratory findings, blood picture and red cell indices, hemoglobin, hemoglobin values are below normal, red cells, blood picture shows characteristic macrocytosis, basophilic stippling and occasional normoblast may be seen. Reticulocyte count. The reticulocyte count is generally low to normal in untreated cases. Absolute values. Red cell indices show MCV elevated that is above 120 femtoliters and MCH elevated above 50 picogram and MCHC is normal or reduced. Leukocytes. Blood film may show characteristic hypersegmented neutrophils, platelets. Platelet count may be moderately reduced and biaser forms of platelets may also be seen. Bone marrow findings. Marrow cellularity. The marrow is hypercellular with a decreased my myeloid erythroid ratio. Arthropoiesis. The erythroid hyperplasia is due to characteristic megaloblastic arthropoiesis. Megaloblasts are abnormal, large, nucleated, Arthroid precursors having nuclear cytoplasmic asynchrony, that is, the development of cytoplasm exceeds the development of the nucleus, or nuclear maturation lags behind that of cytoplasm. Other cells Jain forms of metamyelocytes and band cells may be present. Marrow iron Arthroid precursors show, shows increase in size and number of iron granules on Prussian blue staining. Biochemical findings. There is rise in serum unconjugated bilirubin and LDH due to marrow cell breakdown. The serum, iron and ferritin may be normal or elevated. Special tests for causes of specific deficiency. The test detects the deficiency of either vitamin B12 or folic acid. Test for vitamin B12. Normal serum level of vitamin B12 is 200 to 900 picogram per ml. Values less than 100 picogram per ml indicates clinically deficient stage. 
the vitamin b12 deficiency can be established by microbiological assay the serum sample to be assayed is added to a medium containing all other essential growth factors required for a vitamin b12 dependent microorganism like euglena gracilis lactobacillus lakemani or escherichia coli the medium is incubated and the growth is compared with the growth produced by a known amount of vitamin b12 radio assay assess of serum vitamin b12 by radio isotope dilution and radio immuno assay are more sensitive simple and more rapid than my microbiological assay shilling test radio isotope absorption test Schilling test detects the deficiency of vitamin B12 and also detects the detects and distinguishes lack of intrinsic factor and mole absorption. The test is performed in three stages. Stage one without intrinsic factor. Oral dose of 0.5 to 2 milligram of radioactively labeled vitamin B12 that is hot B12 is administered. A large dose of 4 milligrams of unlabeled vitamin B12 that is cold B12 is administered parenterally after 2 hours to saturate the serum and the tissue binding sites. Interpretation Normally more than 7% of 1 milligram or oral dose of hot B12 is excreted in 24 hours urine sample. A lower quantity of hot B12 is excreted in case of deficiency of intrinsic factor. stage 2 with intrinsic factor in the previous stage if the urinary excretion of hot b12 is low the test is repeated as in stage 1 with a high dose of intrinsic factor orally interpretation if the 24 hour urine excretion of hot b12 is normal then it is interpreted that it is interpreted that the cause is deficiency of intrinsic factor if the excretion of hot b12 is still less than it is in case of pernicious anemia stage 3 test for mole absorption of vitamin b12 here the protein bound vitamin b12 is used and the urinary excretion hot b12 is checked interpretation a normal urinary excretion confirms the cause as the mole absorption test for folate deficiency the normal range of serum folate is 6 to 12 mg per ml values less than 4 mg per ml are considered diagnostic of folate deficiency it can be detected by urinary excretion of figlu on oral administration of estradiol urinary excretion of figlu is increased in case of folate deficiency as folic acid is required for conversion of figlu to glutamic acid in catabolism of estradiol serum folate assay microbiological assay the test is based on the principle that the folic acid coenzyme 5 methyl dhf is required for growth of lactobacillus k lactobacillus casei radio assay it is done by radio isotope dilution and is similar to serum b12 assay red cell folate assay red cells contain 20 to 50 times more folate than serum assay microbiological and radio assay are more reliable indicator of tissue stores of folate than serum folate assay thank you everyone hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe